Hello and welcome to the Royal Concert Hall roof tour. Um, we'll be taking you through some of the technical areas that uh, the public don't normally get to see. If you'd like to follow me this way. So within the roof space, as you can see, there is a uh, mountain of metalwork um, with various accesses up to higher levels, which we will be showing you later. So the main walkway, this takes us towards some of the main technical areas and lighting positions that we have here in the Royal Concert Hall. The first one we get to is a side position uh, lighting from front of house, um, where we can see a number of lights and extra lighting positions that we have available to rig other lights on that uh, companies may bring or we may need to add in ourselves. The walkways that we're walking on now, when the concert hall was originally built, um, weren't here. Um, and uh, access for while they were working on it was via a very wobbly wooden ladder, um, which uh, flexed as you got midpoint on it, um, and uh, was then subsequently changed to metal catwalks, which are all hardened, barriered off, so we're uh, safe to walk along. Um, we have now moved over to our main front of house lighting position where we have 24 uh, lights set in place uh, ready to focus for as the shows require. The throw of the distance that we're looking at onto stage is around 40 metres to the downstage centre point. So we're looking at it's quite a, a long distance that we have to, to get light to light the performers. Um, as we come across, you can see the rest of them. They are all behind glass, um, which is purposefully designed for the acoustics of the building, um, which is where it gets its reputation from for being a world-renowned concert hall. Um, so without the glass, the sound would then bounce and rattle around up here, and the acoustics of the building wouldn't be as good. What you can also see is a mountain of concrete um, looking like a rolling volcano um, and all of that is safe to walk on. There is around 400 tonnes of concrete that was uh, put into this building. Um, so, And all the lighting that is in the um, concrete is LED house lights um, so they are energy saving. Um, as we continue to move along, uh, you can see all the ventilation ducting um, as well that we have up here, um, and that's what helps keep the auditorium cool in the summer and uh, warm in the winter. Um, it's a massive ducting that runs all the way through the roof space. We have now moved across to the other side of the main front of house gantry. Um, as you can see, everything is symmetrical. So if companies want lighting from uh, each side, we can mirror it um, on the other. Um, with various patch panels for adding more lighting and other circuitry as we need are the little black boxes that are around head height for us. And now, as we continue across to the other side, we can see again that there is a lover match lighting gantry that we saw on the first side as we came into the roof. And as we continue further down, um, there are one more lighting position um, over the side of the stage, um, and then something a bit further round for another lighting position. You can also see the mountain and the masses of steel girder work that is up here and that is what supports and holds up all of the concrete roof. Where we can then go up into the other section of the roof which is exclusive for this video tour. 
as we head back, we're uh, mining all these supports, um, and these are what holds up all of the concrete below us. on one side or the other we've got various other technical bits of equipment that are used for when we are focusing lights or changing light bulbs. Stock of, stock of different gels in this cabinet here for changing the colours of the lights. So as we can see, if you want the lights to be pink, we have the colours, blue, purple, um, warmer skin tones, um, full cabinet of different colours. There we go, and uh, heading back now, almost back to where we started. When we get back to here, what we can see is these weights that are um, hanging down. These are weights for our acoustic banners that are in the auditorium. Um, and as they are controlled, they're motor controlled. And when they come in um, or out, the weights move to take the balance and take the weight of the banners um, so that they can smoothly come in and out. And here we are back at where we started and we will now head up this ladder um, to the top above the roof and we will reconvene up there. We are now um, in the roof above the main canopy um, that is in the concert hall. Um, as you can see um, there are some very large motor winches up here. Um, there are three on this side there are another three um, further over into the roof um, and they are what lift and move the main canopy which is around 38 tonnes in weight. Um, we also have various other points where we can put motors for production um, and that's what are on these orange frames. Uh, we have some of our own motors already installed into some of them um, within the building. Um, so these are for extra ones for when shows want to put more weight up in the roof um, and put extra trussing, extra lighting bars, extra bits of scenery. Um, that's where they use these extra points. Um, as we move across you can see some more of these hoists that there are and the control panel for the uh, hoist controls, uh, which is set there. Uh, you can also see the green cabinets and the green elements of metalwork. They are all to do with the acoustic banners and that's the winches and the pulleys and the steel lines all are for lifting the acoustic banners around the theatre. So as we then move over to here, I'm going to show you the man rider, which is what we have to go in to go down into the canopy. Here we have the what's called our man rider, which is a single person lift, which is quite open to the elements with a uh, um, framed cage around it, um, and that takes people one at a time down onto the canopy. It's long enough so that you can take it all the way down to when the uh, acoustic canopy is down at stage level um, but nine times out of ten it's about ten meters off the stage so we're only traveling about four or five meters down in this this man rider. Um, it's, it's controlled by two motors um, and we press a button inside to go down button inside to go up um, which then takes you down onto the canopy in a very clunky and noisy manner. Thank you for joining us on the Royal Concert Hall roof tour and 
If you have any further interest in backstage tours, please join us on one of our organised backstage tours that we run regularly. If you have any questions or queries regarding the roof tour, um, please leave them in the comments below and we will respond. Thank you.